Coming up, I'll go over my newest sheath build for my William Collins Master Woodsman, so stick around. This was my second complete sheath build that I made. My first one was my WCNK, and if you want to see a video on that, check the link down below or the one on the screen. But after carrying that WCNK sheath for a while, I realized that there were some tweaks that needed to be made. So when deciding to build a sheath for my Master Woodsman, I had some improvements in mind. To start off, let me tell you what I liked about the sheath and what I wanted to keep. First of all, I really liked the hybrid design of the sheath. The combination of Kydex and leather really work well and provide excellent retention to the knife. As I discussed with my WCNK build, Stitch Gear Outfitters was my influence for the Kydex retention system. I also wanted to keep it modular and with a variety of options to carry it. When I put the two sheets side by side, you can see the first obvious change, an addition of a second pouch. This knife is a working knife. I've used it to skin and butcher game, to clear shooting lanes of brush, and teach my son how to whittle, plus other bushcraft chores. So it is a well-used knife. Therefore, there is more of a chance to cause damage to the edge of the blade in the field than with my WCNK, which is my EDC. So I've added an additional sharpening stone. With my WCNK, I only carry a DMT coarse diamond stone. Here, in my Master Woodsman, in one pouch I have a DMT extra coarse diamond sharpening stone and a DMT coarse diamond sharpening stone. My second change was to my multi-carry system. What I found with my belt loops were the straps were a little short. As a result, when I sat down, sometimes the snaps would unsnap on the belt loops. To fix this, I made the belt loop straps a little longer to give them a little more wiggle room and added a second snap. This really did the trick. It now sits securely on my belt, plus gives me the ease to add and remove without having to take my belt off. Another change I made was with the positioning of my top D-ring. On the WCNK sheet, it was just too low and the center of gravity was off. So it caused the sheet to fall forward. It works fine as long as you use it in conjunction with securing it to the lower D-ring, but not very practicable to be used just by itself. On my Master Woodsman sheath, I put it at the top so it hangs properly. This gives me even more options to carry. Also, since the WNCK is a smaller knife, I built in a high belt carry. The Master Woodsman is a long knife though with its great handle doesn't feel that large in the hand, but let's face it, there's no reason to belt carry it that high. And because the space is larger between the scout carry straps, I went ahead and sewed up part of the carry system to give it more stability. Keeping with the stability, the pouch section is now connected by six Chicago screws as opposed to four with the WC and K and the scout carry straps are secured with four Chicago screws as opposed to only two with the WC and K. And since the sheath is so much larger, instead of eight eyelets, there are now 10 eyelets for balance lashing. Everything else is still the same. The belt loops and scout carry straps are still designed to accommodate Molly for quick connection to packs. And you can carry it vertically, knife up or down, horizontally, and for right and left hand carry. To see more of the options that this multi-carry system can do, review my WCNK multi-carry video. The link is on the screen and down in the description. I've continued to put a lot of thought process in these two sheets, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm the OCD Hunter, and I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Comments are always welcome.